Alright, we're on to another tier list. I don't know what else to say about it. We, we do these all the time nowadays on the Comrade Warren channel because it's free views, it makes a quick video, and hey, I can't complain. However, this may well be the last tier list about Castle Crashers that I do because I've covered almost every aspect of the game. I might do a weapons tier list, but that's kind of complicated because that's 88 weapons in the entire game. But I'm getting off track here, we're here for the levels tier list. So, as usual, we have S, A, B, C, D, F, and of course, who could forget Alien. So, we're gonna start off. Alright, the criteria here is how fun the level is to play, just in general. So the first one here, Flowery Field, that's gonna be an easy D. Now, this may just be me personally, but I've, uh... I've played Flowery Field way too many times, and it's just it's just walking forward with a bunch of flowers and a, an underused enemy. It's just kind of nothing special about it, so it gets a D. Kind of repetitive. All right, the castle, the uh, the wedding crash level. It gets a it gets a B. It's pretty cool. I like it. You can uh, you can juggle the enemies, and the the design of the level is pretty nice. So I'll give it a B. Alright, I believe this is the, um, is that, this is the parade? Oh yeah, this is, uh, the, uh, parade level here. Honestly, the parade, it's, un actually, it gets a B right above the, uh, the wedding crash because it's unique. It doesn't follow the standard level format that all the other ones do, so it gets higher up. Alright, Cyclops Cave. That's a C. You can't combo the enemies. It can be pretty annoying. Especially with the slimes. That's why it's getting a C. It's just not really a really fun level to play. Lava World gets an A because um, I know it's a pretty long level, but the enemies in there can be juggled, which is nice. Um, and it has two bosses in it, which makes it more fun to play. Um, with a few unique mechanics such as sandwiches. So I'd say it gets an A. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Alright, um, the Cyclops Fortress, it gets a C right above the, um, the cave. It's just a, um, I guess a slightly better version of the cave because it doesn't have slimes to deal with, so that's why it's, it's going right there. Alright, uh, Industrial Castle, that's gonna get an S, um, because it has the, uh, some pretty fun enemies to fight against who are pretty powerful, can, it can test your skills. It has, um, it's it's one of the few enemies in in the uh, sorry one of the few levels in the game to feature the brute, it being this and the necromancer boss fight, which I think is a really cool enemy, and it requires uh, the sandwich mechanic to get in, and it has a few traps you have to deal with as well as a unique boss fight at the end, so it's getting an S. The ninja pirate ship is also an S right below industrial castle because its theme song is great, the graphics are great, the enemy mechanic is new, and I think it's overall a pretty nice level. It gets an S. All right, desert. It gets a C. It's just not a really fun level to play, especially after playing it several times. It becomes pretty, uh, pretty, just annoying in general. Like if I could skip the whole desert section in my playthroughs, I would. It gets a C. All right, the um, home castle. It gets a B. There's nothing wrong with it, just nothing too crazy with it. It kind of introduces you to the game, so I'll give it that. Alien, alien. Uh, Desert Chase. At least you have, at least you do something besides just uh, just wandering. You have an objective to get there as fast as possible, so I'll give it that much. All right, the um, the Sand Castle Interior. It's just no, it's a little bit bland. There's just nothing special about it again, so it gets high C. The volleyball. Hey, it's unique. Okay, it might be kind of annoying, but you got to give it that it's something else than just fighting enemies. So I'll give it something. All right. The uh, marsh, I believe it was called. This is getting A. It's a really then. It's a it's a nice stuff level. The design is cool. Enemies can be comboed. It's pretty cool. All right, the um, flooded temple. Enemies can't be juggled. It's uh, there's water everywhere, which I'm not a huge fan of. At least the boss is okay. Nothing special about the boss. It gets the very end of B. Okay, full moon. It's gonna get a C. Just because it's an annoying level to play, the enemies can crit you for a thousand damage on insane mode, and they aren't juggleable. So that's why I get to see. Just not. It's just it's just kind of annoying to deal with. All right, that's uh, Snow World. It's also gonna get an A 
because it has the unique mechanic where the uh, the uh, the ice camos are on top of you know the uh, the pillars and behind barricades. So it's I think it's more unique than the standard level. It gets an A. I like the design. I like the character. All right, ice interior is also it's going to get very high B. I just think it's a uh, it's a fun little mini game. Doesn't take too much time. Not very time consuming. Just fun all together. Um, castle interior, I think it was. No, oh, castle keep. Castle keep. Um, it's the first place you can buy potions. It gets a C. Wizard castle takeoff, pretty annoying. Just gets a D. Nothing fun about it. Uh, wizard castle interior. I'll give it an A. I like the design of the place. It's it's a pretty cool level. The final boss level. I don't know. It's a lacking level. It gets a uh, end of the stick on C. Barbarian War? I like it. It's gonna go high B. It's just a- it's a pretty fun level to play. It introduces you to a few mechanics, your first boss, you get a bow sometimes from it. It's just a nice level for new players. Alright, Forest Entrance. It's just a pretty small level, kind of lame. Gets D. Alright, um... Here we go. The... What is this? The the troll boss fight level like area. Oh yeah, Thieves Forest. Thieves Forest gets uh gets an A. I like these forests. Okay. The uh the mill, the abandoned mill, it gets an F. It should be skippable. It's time consuming. Alright, the river, it gets a, a C. Nothing too crazy, nothing too horrible. It's just middle of the lane. Um, Tallgrass Fields, another S. It's, uh, I like the design of the level a lot, and I like the enemies a lot as well. It's another kind of level that'll introduce you to the mechanics of the game. Not too challenging, not too easy. That's an S. And then F, Pips just Cave, there's too many slimes. Alright, that's my comprehensive level tier list. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like this video, please hit a like and subscribe. If you'd like to suggest a video, please join the Discord, link will be in the description. Here are some featured comments for this video, if you'd like to be featured in the next video, please leave a comment down below, and you might be in the next one. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.